Hi friends, my name is Dr. Ajay Shivaj. Uh, my clinic is at Rajendra Nagar, Saibabad. Now, today I am going to tell you about two of the most chronic diseases that are most prevalent among adults and even the, even the youngsters. Uh, these are one is the cirrhosis in which I have found uh, too much success. Even uh, the fibrosis uh, was uh, completely weaned off and the complete liver was restored without any transplantation. So uh, cirrhosis is mostly caused by uh, two uh, things mostly. Uh, one is the hepatitis and second one is the alcoholism, chronic alcoholism. Um, mostly the symptoms which are uh, present in the cirrhosis are the fatigue, uh, swelling the lower limbs, nausea, loss of uh, appetite uh, uh, mostly and uh, sometimes the bleeding and uh, mostly in the later stages bleeding starts from in the uh, form of uh, hemoptosis means uh, uh, vomit comes out uh, in the form of vomit uh, even uh, the other passages also start bleeding in the later stages hemoglobin also gets down and the platelet level also gets down so in homeopathy uh, we have uh, got no specific remedies for that but we have the constitutional remedies for that uh, like uh, the patient comes and he gives all uh, his symptoms uh, uh, from mentals to the physicals to all the genitals and then we consider one remedy which is uh, known as genetic constitutional remedy uh, which comes after a one or uh, two hour of uh, patient reading from the doctor and then we prescribe one medication uh, like if I I say uh, in the past uh, uh, many of the cases been treated with black acids, veritrum album, magmure, magsulf and even carbo wedge. Uh, all the cases were uh, completely restored to their normal health. Uh, in, in that condition in which they were uh, referred to the larger setups for transplantation. Second disease I'm, uh, today I am going to tell you is the allergy. Allergy is the most prevalent uh, among the NCR uh, living people. Uh, reason being the high pollution levels and the dust which is due to the infrastructure being developed here. So uh, allergy and asthma mostly often come together. Uh, when, and the cause behind it is the hypersensitivity of the mucous membranes or the hypersensitivity of your system towards some allergens and allergen could be anything from the sun even the sun anything under the sun uh, like pollens dust uh, uh, cotton anything a perfume anything what happens in the asthma uh, the bronchial mucous membrane gets swelled up due to the allergic reaction due to the hypersensitivity of the immune system and it causes the expiratory obstruction in the breathing and which later on leads to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease uh, this is the chronic form and the acute form is just the allergen comes in the contact the mucus membrane swells up and leading to the uh, obstruction of the air pathway so this leads to the allergy, uh, asthma now the uh, as far as the homeopathy is concerned we have got very nice uh, homeopathic and excellent homeopathic uh, therapeutic uh, uh, like uh, there are many remedies but the procedure of treatment is the same like the patient comes and we uh, evaluate the patient from his mental symptoms from his physical symptoms from his past uh, disease chronology uh, and uh, the present uh, symptoms and his physical genitals all the things are considered at one and then we arrive to one remedy which is known as constitutional remedies like in the past i have treated many cases of asthma which are now out of uh, the asthma and they are living a very normal life uh, some of them some of them have been treated uh, very well with calcarea carb some of them have been uh, treated uh, very well with veritrum uh, some of them have been very well treated with arsenic album blata in mother tincture I also use um, and grindelia and all these uh, things depends on how a doctor is perceiving the case so uh, it's all depends on the perceived perception of the doctor and the interaction of the doctor with the patient and what he gives his symptoms and then we come to some remedy and that cures uh,
anything we can cure any allergy any kind of allergies thanks folks for listening me and i will keep updating you with the new therapeutics that and the disease treatment in the later parts